is Pat Sloan here and it is happy February. Yes, it is February. Can you believe? I know. Do we say that every month? No, for me, the January and February are the hardest months of the entire year to get through because they're generally dark and dreary and I'm that person that needs to have that sunshine. And so when I get through the first one, January, and I try to keep super, super busy, uh, just so that I don't have to think about it too much. <laughs> oh, so, okay, so we just got February to go through, but I love February because it's all about hearts and love and pink and red. What, what, what's not to love about February? The cold here in Virginia, but besides that. So I had to leave this up here. I'm gonna take it down now because I gotta put the, the witch up, the quilted witch's garden up there. Uh, but I have it up there because it's so funny. It has been there for days and days and days and I have not worked on it at all. I have not worked on the Perfect 10 at all yet since the last time we talked about it. But <laughs> Mr. Craig has come in and seen it on the wall and, and it's not normal for me to have the same project on the wall this long. So he's like, is, is that one for somebody in particular? <laughs> it's, it's so funny. He's, he's trying to figure out, I think, why... I still have it up there because he probably doesn't notice I haven't worked on it. Maybe he has noticed. <laughs> so anyway, it has to come down in a few minutes. But before I do that, before I do that, let me show you that, well, I've got the ladder here too. It's going to be in my way. So I have to show you my favorite last, uh, more, more recent finish that I did for my book, Holiday Hoopla. And this was for the Holiday Hoopla book, which came out, what, a year and a half ago? Uh, this this quilt, I just love it so much. Um, my grandfather, my pop-pop, had this awesome box of uh, skeleton keys. You know, there were other keys in there too, but there were a lot of skeleton keys. That's what this type of key is called. And I just love that box. It was up in their attic. And to get to, get to the attic, you went up. The, there was this, this little door to go to the attic, which was a full-blown attic. Uh, you know, my mom as a kid slept in that attic. She says it was freaking hot, but it, she slept up there because you could have all that space. But you went up this little tiny narrow stairway and then it opened to the, to the top of the duplex. They were in a duplex. Uh, so I don't know. I always loved being able to go up in that attic and kind of mess around. My brother and I would do that. Uh, so I just had to show you this because I'm going to be in the next day or so uh, probably on the weekend, changing the quilts out to the red and white. Although I have loved the blue and white. I have just loved it, but it's time. And this is the book that came out about a year and a half ago. We did a quilt along, we did a sampler, trying all the, you know, a little bit from all the patterns. And so you, you all sewed along with me. But you can still get this book. It's not in print anymore, but there are still copies uh, from resellers on Amazon. So I'll link you to that. Uh, and we also have today Start Stronger Together. It is a fundraiser and I'm going to be using some of my, it's kind of a mishmash of my fabric. So I'm gonna talk about that and we'll do that also today. Okay, and let's see, I, I got something in the mail that I think I have to show you first. This is from uh, Ellen in California. So cute plaid card. Don't we need, we need some fabric like that, right? Cute little madre plaid, right? And she sent me a darling, look at this bag that's in, a darling zipper pull. Look at that, so sweet. And she's in California, did I say that? Those of you who know me know what California means. Ah, <gasps> seize candy, seize candy. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take take that stuff down off the wall. That's the perfect 10 in the horse blocks, which I need to cut more horse blocks. But anyway, take it down. The Quilted Witch. This is Lori Holt's project, and I am doing a version which is witchless, no witch, but s several of you have done, you finished my version, but you've also, a couple of you have finished the one with the whole witch. She is big. Somebody had her on their bed. I think I mentioned this. It like looked like a person laying on the bed. It's, it's a big quilt. So I'm doing one of the quilts will be a little bit smaller. We're doing pumpkins and the last block. 
the last block. Pumpkins was last week. The last block are some leaves. This is a bonus pattern from me. It's the only block that's not in the book uh, and it's downloaded at my project page. Uh, so it, for the Quilted Witch at I Love to Make Quilts. And so you just need three leaves. So once you have the leaves, then the rest of this can easily go together. I am, here we got, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We have the, this whole thing full. That's got my fabrics because I had lots and <laughs> had a little extra that I got. And here are the sections so far with the pumpkins. And then here are all the other blocks. I have them in this case. Remember these cases? They're so great to keep your blocks in. So I've got all the blocks in here uh, that are going to be needed to finish the quilt. So I'm just going to put it up on the design wall so that we can see what it looks like. And then over the next few weeks, I will be going through and we'll be sewing the sections here. All this where my finger, under my finger, right here. Because we've already done the one side. I can't do this backwards. Okay, we've already done the one side. So we're going to be doing, there we go. We're going to be doing all of that section. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Let me, let me put them up there. Here it is, a mock-up. It's not going to be exactly how I'll put it. I'll probably rearrange some of the colors just a little bit, but that's a basic placement of everything. And um, yeah, so I can get a feel for what it's going to look like. We'll be sewing like sections by sections, just going through the pages to build out uh, here on the right-hand side. And then there's also a strip down below to sort of uh, round out the bottom of it. So, oh, so fun, so fun to see it coming together. It is so fun to see it come together, right? So fun. So what I'll do is I will just put a picture of this over on the project page for uh, the Quilted Witch or the Witchless <laughs> Quilted Witch, the Witch's Garden. Uh, so I'm gonna go put a picture there so you can take a look at it. And you know, some things I might not leave where they are. I might shift them a little bit. So don't take it as the absolute. And I didn't count how many little stars went on the bottom. So there might be uh, more of those. Uh, so, you know, basically you're, you're following the, the pattern to do that. Uh, so, okay, so there you go. There you go. Now we're gonna go over and talk about Stronger Together. Before we get to that, a few other things. The prize winner for the Fat Quarter Shop's $150 gift certificate was Darlene, who has written me back already and should be getting her gift certificate any day. Uh, she says she's become addicted to the Fat Quarter Shop after listening to my praises. She faithfully watches Kimberly's YouTubes and has a number of their free patterns. She says the 150 would go go towards all the things she has sitting in her in her, in her cart at the Fat Quarter Shop. <laughs> Who else has that cart at the Fat Quarter Shop? <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so if you did not download your February calendar, it is out there. I do have a few um, project pages that I want to work on in February and I'll get try to work on them earlier in the month to get those done. They're not out there yet. Uh, they kind of got ahead of me, the project pages. Remember there's two pages. One is like the calendar with the things for the day. And then the other is a list of the projects. And if you're looking at this online, there's clickable links in here to the, the pattern or the project page for that particular one. I also want to give like a public service announcement. The scammers have been quite active here towards the end of the month because of all these giveaways I'm doing. Whenever you use the word giveaway in the comments, you'll notice I never use it. I don't put the word giveaway in the comments, in the description box, I never use it because that generates the scammer bots. They just you know flood in. And some of you have been writing uh, you know, giveaway in comments. And so it's triggered them and they have been emailing all kinds of you. And the emails look like this that you see here on the screen. They are not for me. Nowhere on there does it have my email address. You will note, as I've told you many, 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 many times, never, never should I, never will I write you from YouTube. There'll be nothing from YouTube and me on a giveaway. 
Now, if I reply to your comment, it does, I think, generate an email if you have that set up, but I'm not sending you one that looks like this. I never tell you to text me, never. So those are scammers and you should just delete it. You can report it to YouTube. You know, there'll just be more of them generated, but you can go ahead and report them. But anyways, stop using the word giveaway. Stop it because you're generating these by, by doing that. So that is, that is my public service announcement. <laughs> well, hopefully this uh, is not squeaking. Greg did a little adjusting there, so hopefully it won't squeak. My camera is very old, so it has to be adjusted often. It's got things wired to hold things shut, and it tends to like, like, like roll when it shouldn't, so it has to be tightened up, and then it squeaks. So anyways, more than you wanted to know about how things run here, but that's the reality of it. Okay, we're gonna go on to the fundraiser, Stronger Together. This is run by the Fat Quarter Shop and they run several fundraisers during the year. I really enjoy participating in these fundraisers, bringing awareness to the different organizations, to my community, uh, to uh, really celebrate or support whatever the different fundraisers are. Stronger Together is supporting the United Negro College Fund. They are an educational fund uh, for young people to get into college and other different kinds of educational programs. And so I think that's always an amazing thing to help people get the education that they need. Um, and so I'm, I've been doing this fundraiser along with the Fat Quarter Shop for since they started them. I believe this might is either the third or the fourth year. Uh, so I think I've done all of them. Uh, each time they change it up a little bit, there's often a person or multiple people, depending on how they run it. This year, the Stronger Together is supporting and uh, celebrating uh, Ruby Bridges, who, if you will remember, this is the picture that we know of Ruby at six years old, just six years old, um, breaking the integration of the school systems and going to a school so that now it would be black children and white children and all colors of children together in one school system. This was down in the South. Uh, and I'm sure that, you know, she <laughs> at six, I don't know, who knows, who knows what you knew at six years old, but uh, for her whole life, this has been something that she's been, you know, part of her life. She's now an author, she runs a foundation, uh, and so you can go and look and learn about her life and what she does and does now. Um, the Fat Quarter Shop has set it up so there are four different designers and each of the blocks in the pattern, so there's a big pattern, you um, do a donation and then download the pattern. So you get the whole pattern at once. And then there's a little bio about Ruby Bridges, there's a little bio about each of the four designers and you can go and learn and meet them through their Instagram accounts, uh, their videos, whatever all they have. Uh, the first one is Jarester Thorpe Page, and she is an elementary school teacher, and she designed this first block, which has the bell and the little bow and the apple for the teacher. Uh, and so she, being a principal, a school principal, is very much into education, uh, and so that, I think, is just a very cool block to be the first one. So what I am going to be doing is using some of my fabric. So let me just get that organized. I'm use a group of my fabrics and then toss in a few other things. So let me just show you. It is from several of my fabric lines. Plus I have one bin cleared out here and it says strong on there for stronger together. Strong, I think that that's appropriate. Okay, I'm gonna use my Promise Me in white. I'm gonna put this on the nice crisp white background. Here is the first block that we're doing. And so I'm going to make the little bow tie, the little you know, bow, um, not bow tie, it's a little bow, like her hair bow, um, out of that. And then I think I will do the apple out of the floral with this green as the stem. So that would be the stem. Now I could do the bell, the, you know, the school bell. I was thinking I could do the school bell like in blue I could do a blue school bell and then maybe do the handle like the floral, or I could do the school bell in like a yellow. So let's see how that looks with it. Um, that might be too dull, that particular yellow. 
it's kind of a neat design. I think it would need, the, the, the element of it would make a neat school bell, but I'm thinking it's a little dull. So I've got this plaid I pulled out, which I think also would be kind of a neat school bell. I just kind of, I kind of think the bell has to be gold, you know? I think it'd be great in blue, but better in gold better in gold. I will keep these though for some of the other blocks. I'm going to put them all in the bin there. So I have the blues, the purples, the pinks, and the touches of green. I think that's what the whole color scheme will be. Oh, it's so nice this doesn't squeak when I move it. Uh, <laughs> and the other thing I pulled was this yellow here. Um, but I think that's too busy. That one's too busy. So I'll put those, these, these two back. I'll put these two back in the yellow bin and I'll go with the bell with this one. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and here, like I sh show you, you know, they've got a page, there's a block and the little bio about the designers, and then there's the pattern following for the, for the first block. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the pieces and then show you what they look like. This is what I'm doing. I'm doing for each of the boards. This is the bow. Here is the apple. So I'm in progress getting the apple done, and then I'll use another one of these for the school bell. And here's all three of them ready to sew. Uh, then I've just got the instructions and they're, they're separate and I don't have to think about it. They're all kind of laid out on the board exactly how I need it. I want to show you something I did though. When I'm cutting, sometimes, can you see the, can you see the rip? Oops, can you see that? So what I'm doing is this is a sew and flip corner out here. So I'm just putting it on the outside where it's going to be cut away. So I'm going to be sewing from corner to corner, get this blue, from corner to corner, pressing that open and trimming away behind there for the bell. And so I don't, I'll use that little piece there. I could have saved it to cut it down for a smaller size, but I thought, oh, I'll just use it there. So I'm working between the blocks. So as I get to a part where I can't sew here anymore, I would go over and sew parts of here. So I've got like the half square triangle, I've got the center part of the bow tie done, and then even down here is the bell started. So I will just work between all three of these, uh, you know, moving along, just putting things back on their proper board and so it doesn't get mixed up. So now I can sew this one and then I will, so the next thing I'll have to sew is probably come over here or right now, if I go trim the half square triangle, then I can move on this one. So that's what I'll do. Here is the school day block. I think it turned out really cute. I love these colors together. And I do like that I did the yellow school bell. Uh, I think that that worked out. The apple could be red, but I really didn't want to add red in here. I want to keep it the pinks and the purples and the greens with that dash of navy. So the navy from my promise me. And then I think what I'll do is I'll use a little bit of this yellow in each of the other blocks if possible. So it'll kind of bring it and keep it flowing all together. All right, my friend, it is late. It is like almost 7 p.m. and I'm finishing this, but I thought I just need to do this one little wrap up of this video so that it can be done. I don't want to have to do it tomorrow. So here I am. <laughs> it's like you're finishing up. So, okay. So you've got the Quilted Witch today. If you are following along with that, um, you've got you go, every week there's something to do. That's <laughs> Ours is probably going to run about four more weeks, I think, to finish up all those sections, maybe five weeks. At, that's probably, probably five would be realistic. And then that project will be done. Okay, my friend, I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.